Hello everyone. So um, here we want to start by um, understanding how you form quadratic equations when you are given the roots of the equation. Okay, so suppose that alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation. Then to form um, a new quadratic equation, you do that by doing this x minus alpha and then x plus alpha, sorry, minus beta is equal to zero. This is the root because x minus alpha equals zero will give you alpha. This equals zero will also give you beta. So these are the roots. If you expand this, you are going to have x and x with x squared. This and this is minus beta x. This is minus alpha x. This is plus alpha beta is equal to zero, which means that x squared minus comes out. I can factorize x out. So this is alpha plus beta and then alpha beta is equal to zero. So the equation, quadratic equation, is actually x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots. So in general, any new quadratic equation you want to form will be of the form x minus sum, the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation plus the product of the roots and equate that to zero. So once you know the sum of the roots and you know the product, you uh, form this equation and that will give you the quadratic equation. Okay, notice that the coefficient here is one. So for example, if you are giving uh, the quadratic equation x squared minus x minus two is equal to zero, uh, you don't need the roots itself, right? All you need is the sum and the product. So once this is written like this, the coefficient is 1 here, then you can say that the sum of the roots, suppose alpha and beta are the sum, then alpha plus beta will just be equal to 1, right? See the negative and the negative, so this is equal to 1. The product of the roots would be equal to this quantity here, which is negative 2. Okay? In the same way, suppose that you are given the quadratic equation, which is equal to... Uh, Let's say now we have an equation which is 2x squared uh, plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, what is the sum and the product of the roots of this equation? Well, you, um, you divide through by 2 so that you have it in this form. So I'm going to have x squared plus 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 is equal to 0. Divided through by 2. So from here, if you compare this to the general form, you see that if alpha and beta are the roots, then the sum of the roots will be, it should be negative, so minus 1 over 2, right? Minus minus is positive half, so it's minus. So alpha plus beta, beta, the product of the roots, will be this guy, which is also negative 1 over 2. Okay? Good. So, now oftentimes, you are giving... Um, you are given a sentence in a way, right? A white problem, and you are asked to find a new quadratic equation based on the information given to you. Okay? So here's an example of that. If alpha and beta are the roots of, of the quadratic equation 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 is equal to 0. Find, find the equation, okay? Equation, find the equation with roots alpha plus 1 and beta plus 1. Okay? So, here you are given this equation, so a solution. Our new equation is this. So we need to find the sum of the roots and then the product of the roots, and that will help us to find the uh, equation itself. But before we can do that, we need to use the information here to be able to find uh, alpha plus beta and alpha minus beta. So given this e equation, 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 is 0, you need the coefficient here to be 1, so divide through by 3, and that will give you x squared plus 5 over 3x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 0. 
So from here, the roots are alpha and beta, which means alpha plus beta, that is the sum of the roots, will be negative 5 over 3, right? And the product of the roots, alpha beta, will be this guy, negative 1 over 3. So we know alpha plus beta, and we also know alpha beta, which is this. Okay, so we're going to use this information to form our new equation whose roots are alpha plus 1 and then beta plus 1. So for the new equation, new equation, the sum of the roots, sum of roots will be alpha plus 1 plus beta plus 1. This you can rewrite as alpha plus beta, right? Plus 1 plus 1 is 2. Alpha plus beta, we know it from this information. This is negative 5 over 3. And then, um, so you put it there. So you are going to have, let me uh, get rid of this. Let's use here. So we have sum of roots alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is negative 5 over 3 plus 2. That's going to give me 6 and negative 5, that is 1 over 3. So we know the sum of the roots. The product, product of roots for our new equation will be equal to alpha plus 1 multiplied by beta plus 1. Right? That's the product of the roots. That will give us alpha beta plus alpha plus beta plus one. Note, this is alpha plus beta here. So we can compute this. Alpha beta is given to us as negative one over three. Alpha plus beta is negative five over three plus one. Okay? This and this gives us negative six over three. So that is negative 6 over 3 plus 1. So that is negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. So for our new equation, the product of the roots is negative 1, and the sum of the roots is equal to uh, 1 over 3. So you put it in the general form, put that information in the general form, and that will give you your new quadratic equation. So our new equation will be x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus the product, right? Product of the roots is equal to zero. The sum of the roots we found to be one over three, and the product of the roots is negative one. So the quadratic equation is really x squared minus one third x minus one is equal to zero, which you can simplify, multiply through by three, right? And that will be 3x squared minus x, right? Minus 3 is equal to 0. And that is the new quadratic equation. All right? So that is how you form um, a quadratic equation when you are giving the roots of the, uh, of the equation. All right.